A changing community. Good evening. I'm Pamela Young. A stabbing death in Kaimiki has neighbors worried about what's happening in the once quiet residential area. KITV4's Roger Myrie has details in tonight's top story. Pam, it happened on Wailai Avenue, Kaimuki's busiest road in front of a bus stop and cafe, but so far no suspects have been identified or arrested. There's a lot of crime that happens around Kaimuki. It's beginning worse and worse over the years. The call came in at 3.40 this morning about a stabbing in Kaimuki. The victim, a 70-year-old man. Upon arrival, they discovered a male who had been stabbed. Uh, he was transported to the hospital and subsequently pronounced dead. Jennifer Muley has lived in Kaimuki for more than 10 years and says she often worried about the victim because of what's been going on in her neighborhood. A lot of the homeless people come out around nighttime in the morning. You hear them walking around just yelling and having fits. I think a lot of them have mental conditions. Residents describe the victim as a kind man who became a Kaimuki fixture selling the Sunday paper right here at this spot on Wailai Avenue. Muley lives across the street from where the stabbing occurred. She woke up to see yellow tape, bright blue lights, and blood on the sidewalk. And I immediately knew something happened to the sweet newspaper man that sells the newspapers every day. Such a kind old man, took care of all his family and everything. This customer, who requested we not use her name, was clearly shaken when told of the news. A memorial is set up at the spot where the victim spent every Sunday morning honoring his dedication to serving the Kaimuki community. Good guy, good guy. Outgoing, pleasant, um, sad. He's really a nice guy. He's really, really nice guy. Oh my gosh. At this time, the Honolulu Police Department does not have a description of the suspect or suspects. They're asking anyone who has information on this case to call 911 and ask for Criminal Investigation Division. Pam, back to you.